60 Second Economics on the wealth effect. Now, household wealth represents your net worth. That's the total market value of your assets, such as housing, pensions and savings, minus any outstanding liabilities, such as a mortgage or a bank loan. So consumption is not only determined by your income, but by the value of the stock of your wealth, such as house prices, but also including things like share portfolios. So when asset prices go up, asset owners feel richer and more confident, even if their monthly disposable incomes probably haven't changed. So the effect is an increase in spending as people may save less of their income or choose to withdraw equity from their homes. This chart shows average house prices in the UK. And the evidence suggests that for British consumers, housing wealth is a more significant driver of spending than financial wealth, stocks and shares. When house prices go up, uh, homeowners gain more equity. And historically, this has encouraged mortgage equity withdrawal. Basically, you borrow against the increased value of the home to fund consumption. It could be a new car, some housing renovations, or perhaps a holiday. However, there's a downside for younger people and renters. Increasing house prices often have negative wealth effects because they must now save more of their income to afford a deposit, reducing their current consumption. You can see here the data for the average residential rents for new lets in the UK by region. In London, well over £2,000 a month. Renting has become much more expensive in recent times, making it harder to save each month and build up financial wealth.